boys to entertain you With music and laughter to help you on your way To raising the rafters with a hey, hey, hey With songs and sketches and jokes old and new With us about, you won't feel blue So meet the gang, cause the boys are here The boys to entertain you B-O-B-O-Y-S, boys to entertain you! Chai walai, gram chai. Jelly heart cha saab for you? Thank you. For you, sir. Last order for half price cha saab. Only one anna for a beautiful heart piala. Don't bother, fellas, it's disgusting! How dare you be saying my chai is disgusting? Do you know, I once heard it said that there's nothing in this world that somebody can't make a bit cheaper and a bit nastier. Petiroski sahab, I'm a top-class chawala, and nobody can make chai cheaper and nastier than me. <laughs> hey, Gloria, there's still no sign of Nobby and Atlas. They're not going to be for it when they get back. The Sergeant Major will go mad, like he did when he found that little bug down my rifle barrel. <laughs> he wasn't mad about the little bug, Lofty. It was the fact that it had made a nest and had babies. <laughs> oh, heavens, it's hot. That damn Punkawalla has dropped off to sleep again. Punkawalla? Punkawalla! So, Punka Kareo, Jill dear. Kisi ke baap ka nokan ho kya saab? Ye thi meri coffee break. He's a damn rotten Punkawalla. How much do we pay him? I'm dashed if I know. <clears throat> Sergeant Major? Ah! Could I trouble you a minute? By all means, sir. How much do we pay the punk of Walla? Three rupees a week, sir. Let's see, that's about four or six, isn't it? That's correct, sir. Doesn't seem very much, does it? Or would you give him a rise, say one more rupee? What do you think, Sergeant Major? Won't stop him falling asleep, sir. No, true. Besides, if we give one a rise, they'll all want it. We've only got one. <laughs> well, that's beside the point, Ashford. A thing like that can interfere with the whole structure of Indian society. Any sign of the two missing chaps? No, sir. I expect they're drunk in the village. And if I may suggest it, sir, I do not consider we should issue no more free passes and we should put Tinfuck Village out of bounds. What do you think, Ashford? It doesn't seem very fair on the others. I mean, after all, it does help to break the monotony and keep up morale. Well, on the other hand, sir, there's nothing much down there to amuse them. There's no pubs, fish and chip shops, kinemas. Well, there's a bazaar. Oh, and that temple thing, the Temple of Sport. Temple of Sport? Yes, you, you remember, sir. It's got all those little carvings all over it. You've seen it, Sergeant Major. As it was explained to me, sir, it's uh, not exactly a temple of sport. Like. <laughs> <laughs> then why does it have all those jolly little figures of men wrestling and playing leapfrog and so forth? <laughs> they weren't all men, Ashford. <laughs> half of them was women, sir. Yeah. <laughs> More than half. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. I mean, you don't have men wrestling with... You don't mean... You can't mean... Surely they don't have a temple for that. Well, they have a temple for most things. The absolute bounders. Here, Gloria. Norby and Atlas, they're coming down the pole. Well, don't tell old shut up. Perhaps we can sneak them in. There's two MPs with them. We can't sneak them in. Permission to fall out and deal with the absentee, sir. Ah, uh, yes, uh, please carry on, sir. Better. Stand to the guard! Stand to the guard! Come on, move yourself! Move yourself! Come on, out the tunnel! Out the tunnel! You, <laughs> Gunner Macintosh, and you, Gunner Clark, is under arrest. We is already under arrest. <laughs> William, shut up! <clears throat> right, here are the charges. The head man will be here at eight thirty tomorrow as a witness. Here's the evidence. Good luck with them. And uh, the big one won't give you much trouble, but uh, watch out for the short, fat one. <laughs> what was he going on about me for? I wasn't even there. <laughs> Shut up! Got his Graham and Evans, prison escort, fall in. Move yourselves. Now, what have you got to say for yourselves? I've got a rotten headache. Shut up! <laughs> and you! I love a lassie. <laughs> a bunny black madrasi. Bon dieu. You was guard commander. These men are under arrest and in you a charge. Put them in a guard room. Any trouble, shoot them. 
<laughs> yes, Sergeant Major. There is one thing, Sergeant Major. We don't have a guard room. What are you talking about? You don't have... Hold on. I've stumped him. For the first time, I've stumped him. Who is it? Sergeant Major Williams, sir. Can I have a word? What's the best, Sergeant Major? <laughs> We were both turning in earlier. It was the prisoners, sir. They should be placed in the cooler, but we does not have one. No, and if we did, I'd be sleeping in it. <laughs> Why should you be sleeping in the guardroom? He said cooler, sir. It was a joke. Well, at this time of night. <laughs> and half past eight. Can't they go back to their charpoys? Beg your pardon, sir. They must not mix with the other men. Bad for discipline. Besides which, sir, they might run away. Uh, what do you suggest, Sergeant Miller? Well, sir, if you would give me your permission, I would tie them up with ropes and such like. If I did that, sir, they would never get away. <laughs> Better not, Sergeant Major. People make such a fuss nowadays. Ashwood, what course do you think we should take? I think we should leave it to the Sergeant Major's discretion. Yes. Uh, Sergeant Major, we'll leave it to your discretion. Good night. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> Prison escort, show! Get a parking, sir. sir? A blanket each for the prisoners. Yes, sir. Good boy, very alert. The rest of you, pay attention. Now these. It's four walls. That is the guard room. You two, get in. <laughs> Move! Stand still! Lie down! Lie down! Get a parking blanket. Yes, sir. Oh dear, that is the guard room. If they so much as put one toe out of that, shoot them. Understand? <laughs> yes, Sergeant Major. Good, carry on. Oh, and there is one thing, Sergeant Major, um, just before you kick down for the night. You haven't drawn them a door. I have not drawn them a door because they will not need a door. <laughs> well, in that case, um, would you mind drawing them a little boy's room? <laughs> <laughs> what shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do? This is absolutely disgraceful. I've never seen so many charges. Drunk, absent without leave, disobeying anti malaria orders by being out after sundown with sleeves rolled up. Now that's very serious. <laughs> Resisting arrest, insulting an NCO, being in an area declared out of bounds to wit one temple. Willful damage to property, to wit, one religious statue male. Uh, we have the statue, haven't we? This is the one, sir. <laughs> I can't see where it's damaged. Chuta hua to hai, niche se. Bottom is broken, sir. Is it? Oh. They knocked it off, sir. <laughs> Did they? There, sir. No. Disgraceful. What have you got to say for yourselves? Could we have a drink of water, please? No, you can't have a drink of water, I'd say so. He's under arrest. Answer the officer's questions. What are you going to say for yourselves? I didn't resist arrest, sir. No, we didn't resist arrest, sir. It says quite plainly here that you did. If I'd have resisted that, we run, I would have killed him. <laughs> Shut up, you will not use coarse language in front of officers. No, no, let him go on, Sergeant Miller. We didn't know it was a male religious statue. Ah, it doesn't look very religious. For that matter, it doesn't look very male either. <laughs> you shut up. Sir, if you are still standing in 2000 years, then you won't be clean for your eyes. No, no, how many things affect you? The rain, the cold air, the cold air. Sir, he said you would not look very religious if you were standing in temple for 2000 years. In the rain and in the wind. If you were standing in temple for 2000 years, in the rain and in the wind. And the birds? Oh, and the birds? Sir, this bird was very beautiful and very beautiful. मगर एक दिन भगवान नाराज होकर ऐसी बारिश भेजी जिसके इतना पानी धोया इतना पानी धोया इतना पानी धोया पुतले को पूरा साफी कर दिया फिर वो नॉइज़ धर कर रहा ना उधर का What a mess he's going on about. Sir, he said this statue was very beautiful and very male. One day gods were angry with village and sent great storm which wash and wash and wash and make statue very clean. But neither one thing or the other. हाँ, फिर तो गांव के सब लोग इतना गुस्से में बड़े साबों को पीटने जा रहे थे क्योंकि वो लोग मंदिर में घुस आए थे इसलिए मालूम ओहो हो 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 
Musab, all the people were very angry and wanted to beat the British Saabs for being in the temple of love. Yes, well, obviously you behaved like absolute beasts and made complete fools of yourselves. So 28 days CB, and from now on, tin thut is out of bounds. Uh, dismiss, Sergeant Major. Will you let's go on dismiss? And you get back to your village, look sleepy about it, madam. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? You give those two 28 days CB, and he puts the village out of bounds, so we're all CB. We could use the other village, Min Fon. Oh, yes, you can have a high old time at the Min Fon Bazaar. <laughs> it's all flies and funny smells. <laughs> well, it's quite obvious we've put out the most awful black in that village, and something's got to be done to smooth it all over. First thing, of course, is to return their statue thing. Well, I'll take it back personal, sir. Have a parley with the head man. I've got a sort of knack of talking to these native wallets. Get on with that pandering, you prize eating Burke. <laughs> yes, I think on the whole we'd better send an officer. Now, Ashwood, you better take the statue back. Oh, yes, sir. Now, can you think of any other way we might hold out the olive branch, so to speak, in order to uh, improve relations? Perhaps we ought to find out who are the top chaps in the village and give them a cocktail party. <laughs> well, I don't think that's a very good idea, Ashwood. Most of them don't drink, sir. Precisely. You know, mean having them all up here. How about a brains trust? <laughs> well, since we don't speak their language and they don't speak ours, I don't think it would be all that too easy, you know? Perhaps we could play um, some sort of game, sir. Tennis. <laughs> the nearest tennis course 125 miles away. I do concentrate, Ash. Soccer, sir. We could play them soccer. By Jove, yes, we could. Seven aside. Do the natives know how to play? I doubt it, sir. In fact, it's probably the only lot in the old wide world our Lord of Puffs could beat. <laughs> and probably slaughter them. Yeah. Hold on, Sergeant Major, that's not the idea at all. No, 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 we're trying to improve relations. We've got to let them win. Let them win, sir? Well, only just mine, but nevertheless, they must win. Oh, I don't seem right to me, sir, losing to a lot of natives. Right? Well, never mind, nobody will see. Look, organise it, will you? Uh, find a pitch, improvise some posts and mark it out, will you? Oh. Do we have any whitewash? The army always has whitewash, sir. Comes on the air lift with a blanco. Right. See you, Sergeant Major. Ah. Thank you. Oh, before you go, Sergeant Major, I've got a bit of a bone to pick with you. With me, sir? Yes, Sergeant Major. I thought you were jolly cruel to those chaps, not allowing them to have a drink. I was not really being cruel, sir. You see, they'd been drinking rice wine. It dehydrates you. One drop of anything on top of that, and you're just as drunk as when you started. Oh, dear. I've just sent them over two cups of char. Deal with it, Sergeant Major. Stand it Down. Here we are. This will be a lovely bit for a pitch. Um, we can have one goal over there and, and another goal over here. Only you and mine, Bombardier. A soccer pitch has to be 100 yards long. This is barely 30. Well, we won't have to do that running about then, will we? We could stand in the goals and kick the ball at each other. Basically, I'll have to scale it down a bit. Now, if the pitch is going to be 30 yards long, let's see now, we could play with eight foot goals, four foot ten inches high, and of course a nine inch ball. Where would we get a nine inch ball? Quite right, fella Parkins. He's got common sense, he has. It's more than I can say for you, Professor Henstein. Where will we get a nine inch ball? We could use a balloon. A Dutch change would be better. I got them at the depot. That's ludicrous. You will break into pieces at the first kick. Then we could eat it. I'm not a fool, you know. Oh, you're a blithering idiot. You're all blithering idiot. Carry on down that path. Move yourself. Move yourself. That's nice. That's charm. Whatever the whole thing the other I would not be fooled into you, Gunner Parkins. You was quite sensible at times. How was your mother, by the way, boy? Oh. I fall out for a smoke. If you haven't got any, go through the motions. Hello, no sell down. In five minutes, we're moving on. We've been moving on for four hours. When it comes to a silly game of football, none of you will compromise. Lovely. For heaven's sake, stop picking your toes. Must be to killing me. Killing us as well. <laughs> so that's where we are. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? This is L shape. I say, Sergeant Major. Sure. Come on, on your feet. What's going on? Well, just giving a man a bit of a break, sir. Fine. 
The Colonel's furious. He expected you back simply ages ago. You've left him all alone. Well, have you found anything? Not up to now, sir. What have you all been doing? What's wrong with this place? It's L-shaped, sir. L-shaped? What does that matter? It's only a silly game. Go to initiative, Sergeant Major. Get it marked out. Right. You heard what the officer said. Get moving. I want to see the whitewash flying off that brush. We'll have one goal up there, one round by here. But the goalies won't be able to see each other, Sergeant Major. Oh, dear. Oh, Sergeant. Never mind. Excuse me, Sergeant Major. Where it goes round the bend, shall we curve the line or shall we make an angle? Shall we make a curve? Okay. <laughs> Who does not put curves on soccer pitches, Mr. Lardy Dark and Graham? You put straight lines and corners. Then we'll have six corners. Then get six flags! <laughs> Use your inner shit here. Move yourself, move yourself! <laughs> hey, hold, hey, hold. Make your troubles go. Just put them slowly by their lung. Hey, ho, hey, ho, hey, ho, hey, ho. Hey, ho. For if you're feeling low, you're going to go around with a high. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Home from work we go. Keep on singing all day long. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. All seven in a row. You positively can go wrong with a hi, hi ho. chance of these native trappets cancelling, is there? Oh, none at all. They seem frightfully keen when I challenge them. You have explained to them that uh, knives and blowpipes and things are absolutely not on. I have, sir. <laughs> and they did understand, didn't they? Will you shut up? Well, it's going to be a rump game, and no mistake. I think, tactically speaking, we should have our fastest men on the outside of the L, and then the chaps on this side can act as a sort of bilateral pivot. Who is our... Who is our fastest man? Oh, gonna park in, sir, without a shadow of a doubt. Long streak of lightning. Very alert. I thought, sir, perhaps him and a clerk and a Macintosh myself would uh, make up the forward line. Good. Well, I shan't be playing, of course. Captain Ash will be referee. Uh, what about the defence? Oh, well, sir, I don't suppose they've got the ball in our half very much, but I thought uh, Bombardier Bowman, Gunner Graham could punk, well, sort of combine and become mixed. Half and full back, sir. Hmm. That's pretty useless, sir, but I don't think they'd be used much anyway. <laughs> what about the goalie? Ah, well, sir. Gunnar Evans has sprained his ankle. Uh, who does that leave us with? <laughs> Gunnar Sugden, sir. How bad is Evans' ankle? <laughs> Too bad, sir. Well, uh, couldn't they put Graham in goal? I mean, he wouldn't be much use anywhere. He might do quite well there. Oh, no, sir, it's his hands. What's the matter with him? Oh, he's an artist, sir. I mean, his hands are his fortune, sir. I mean, one crushed finger, one poison cut, and he's useless, absolutely useless. Another piece of junk and life's rubbish heap. Right, well, I'll see you on the field. Now, don't forget, the object of this game is not to win. Because of the behaviour of one or two thoughtless gunners, this village doesn't think much of the British, and you've got to put that right. You've got to show that we're a jolly sporting lot. And these native chaps must be allowed to beat us. But only just. <laughs> then we'll have a return match and beat the hell out of them. Come and have a word with me, will you? Come <laughs> <laughs> you chaps. We haven't got all night. 
Oh, that's Bormody of Bormody in charge, sir. I don't know where they've got to. Let's be having you! If you is not on parade in tiny seconds, you is all on a fizzer! <laughs> Bormody here! What do you think you're on? Well, it was either these from the company, <laughs> or the Chinese jackets from the Chinese theme, or the Mexican boleros. I thought these looked more masculine. Get them off! I suppose I Get them off! Get him off. Get him off. He doesn't like them. Get him off quickly. Oh, help my bob. It's the Rangers. Come on, fellas. Not you, not you. You is British. You salutes. <laughs> Good morning. My name, please, is Mohammed Baksh. Failed entrance examination, Calcutta University. Most pleased to meet you. I am your unbiased referee. <laughs> well, I was the referee. Oh, I see. We toss. You lose. Bad luck. <laughs> Please to start. I didn't even call. Please be paying attention. I want nice, clean game. Not holding any clinches. No dirties. Understand? Malum. Do not speak Urdu to me. I am not some damn native. Speak out! Words, places, lads. What are you soldier boys playing at? Already you are playing dirty. What about? You got a boot on. <laughs> There's many boots. You're going to crush the feet of these poor Indians. You call that sporting? I'm not going to have dirties. Take them off! That's not fair. Our feet are all tender and delicate. <laughs> well, my lad is not used to playing in bare feet. Do you not know better than to argue with the referee? That's not arguing! Do not be cheeky, or I shall be taking your name down. Right. Get to it, lads. My little poison thorn and my dance career will be ruined. <laughs> hey, we're not ready! We're <laughs> going where it should be. Soldier boy, you not be telling me how to run my business. He carried it in his hands. Don't argue with me, please. I'm not arguing. I'm telling you, mate. Right. I'm taking your name down. What is your name, please? It's William. Sergeant Major William. <laughs> ah, William. Hey, that was our kickoff. <laughs> you talking about? That was offside. You are quite right. Penalty. <laughs> that was supposed to be our penalty, you great burke. One more goal for being rude to the referee. <laughs> this is going to be an absolute debacle.
piece of dirty foulness, you'll be sent off. What's the score? 51 nil. 51? <laughs> oh, oh, this is a disgrace. I distinctly told our chaps to let these Indians win. They are doing, sir. 51 nil. They're winning 51 nil? Good Lord, it's a debacle. That's just what I've been saying. <laughs> Now what's the matter? Half time. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't get lemons. Good. You can have half a mango each. And one cup of cha absolutely frees up. This is terrible, Sergeant Major. If the news leaks out, we'll be the laughing stock of the 14th Army. What can you do with a ref like that, sir? He gave one penalty for leg before wicket. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we're finished. I suppose you realise that. I mean, the audience won't want to come and see our shows anymore. They'll just laugh at us and make rude remarks. And it's all your fault. Couldn't we stop giving them shows for a couple of weeks till they forget? They'll never forget. Well, surely there's something we could do. All is not yet lost. I have a feeling that Charwalla might be able to help. Charwalla, a word in your ear, my dear fellow. Well, it's up to you, Sergeant Major. But we can't allow them to win with a score like that. At this rate, they'll win 98 nil. No worry, sir. I've got a subtle plan to stop this rot. Sergeant, next time that ball passes you, you can find a barracks for three days, understood? Yes, Sergeant Major. Beautiful goal! Most beautiful goal I've ever seen! And I'm definite it was not a foul! It's dashed, what? Those Indian chaps didn't try to stop our chaps at all. This is definitely the most extraordinary game I've ever seen. <laughs> Damn bribed him. Seems to be working. <laughs> What's happening at their goal? I'll go around the corner and have a look. <laughs> Fifty-one, a very satisfactory score. Now, as soon as you're cleaned up, you have the rest of the day off. Carry on, Sergeant Major. Sure. <laughs> right then. What happened? Magintosh, did you frighten them natives so they wouldn't touch the ball? No, Sergeant Major. Clark? No, Sergeant Major. Well, who did then? It was I, Sergeant Major. <laughs> You couldn't frighten Miss Muffet. <laughs> I merely got the charwaller to drop a hint that the ball was made of female cowskin. Well, as you know, the female cow is a sacred animal, so they wouldn't kick it. <laughs> Rather ingenious, don't you think, Sergeant Major? Ingenious. Disgraceful. Anyway, that does not account for the referee. <clears throat> I had a little word with him, sir. <laughs> I told him if he didn't play fair, our gods would send a storm which would wash him and wash him and wash him till he was very, very clean. But neither one thing or the other. <laughs> <laughs> Boys to entertain you. Behold, behold, yes, boys to entertain you.